Hi guys, welcome back to Kay's Place. My name is Dana. So for all my current subscribers, welcome back. For all of you who aren't subscribed, welcome to my channel. I hope you'll decide you like what you see and decide to hit that subscribe button below. And when that notification bell appears, if you'll click on that, that will notify you each and every time I upload a new video. So as you can tell from the title, I did stop by the Dollar Tree, but I also stopped by Tuesday morning, Michael's, and Target. So I just picked up a few things from Michaels and Target so that'll be pretty quick. Uh, Tuesday morning was also just a few things but I picked up quite a lot from the Dollar Tree so you might want to grab something to drink because <laughs> it might take us a few minutes to go through all of it. I'm sorry it'll be a little bit of a long haul but I think you'll like it. So let me stop chatting and I'll get into what I picked up at the Dollar Tree first just in case you don't want to see the other things. So let's get started. So this was one of my wish list items. I did pick up the SG Salon Graphics Professional Brown Dry Shampoo in a 5.6 ounce container. I did have one of <clears throat> someone who stopped by to visit my channel asked me that if I could <clears throat> be so kind as to show the product a little more often as I was talking about this. So the uh, Salon Graphics is a really good brand. And with the brown dry shampoo, I know they also had a blonde, but with the brown dry shampoo, you don't get that white residue. So a lot of times when I use dry shampoo, you can see that white residue in your hair. And if you don't get it really good and brushed through, you'll still see it. So it kind of looks like you have dandruff or like dry scalp or something. But with this brown, it's supposed to eliminate that problem. So I went ahead and picked this up. I was really happy to find this. So I also was able to find the Salon Graphics Volumizing Dry Shampoo in the brown and it's called Play It Big. So since I did get my hair cut, I found I don't have a whole lot of volume. Like I have volume at the bottom of my hair, but not really on the sides. And this is a 5.3 ounce bottle as well. And like I said, this is the same thing. You don't end up with that white powdery residue in your hair. It's made to match your hair. It's dry shampoo with color match for brown shades, infused with keratin protein complex to strengthen while styling. Refreshes hair without water and adds instant volume and fullness. So that's what that one looks like. And so the other one is just infused with a keratin, which is kind of what their other products are like. So, I did find the Clorox Fragranza Spring Multi-Purpose Cleaner. It says, leaves your home smelling clean, fresh and clean, and it's bleach free. And this one is in the, it's in the spring scent. And I did open this up and smell it. It has a really nice fragrance. And to go along with that, I picked up the 17 count Clorox Fragranza Bleach Free Wipes. It says removes grease and dirt. It's a 17 count. It's also in the spring scent. It says it can be used for stainless steel, sealed granite, finished hardwood, toilet exterior, tubs and shower walls, and litter boxes. Ooh, don't have a kitty, but there you go. So it has many uses. And like I said, it is also bleach free. So that's a good thing. I like Clorox. So I also picked up the Clorox Fragranza in the other scent and it's the Morning Sky. And it's also a, if I didn't mention it, these are 10.75 ounces. So, and it does say that it is for general cleaning for floors and and hard non-porous surfaces and it does also say you can use this in your laundry and it says fill in the softener compartment of your washing machine to the suggested level or with a quarter of a cup for cleaner for cleaner prior to washing and it says use in kitchens floors bathrooms pet areas and laundry for freshening clothes in the washer 
and it has a really lovely scent as well. And I was also lucky enough to find the 17 count wipes as well in this in the morning sky scent as well. And they do have that reclosable seal here on the front so that you can open them up. That little flap. Where's that? Right there. So that you can open those up and then reclose them. But they both had a really nice fragrance. Then, I think I'll show you the books that I picked up and then we'll get into the fun stuff. So, I, they had a huge selection of children's books. And I picked up some for the younger kids, for my grandchildren. So, I picked up this Peter Cottontail, Here Comes Peter Cottontail book. By Random House. And it does say Easter egg holders and over 50 stickers. So, there are the little Easter egg holders right there. And then, there are some of the stickers. And then, it's got more stickers back in the back. And then it also has another sheet of the little Easter egg holders that you punch out and you put your little bad Easter eggs in. And if you look here on the back, it does have a U.S. price of $4.99. So I picked that one up. And then I found this one. It's Disney Palace Pets Cuddly Princess Pals. And this one is just a book. And it has a U.S. price of $3.99. And it is also by Random House. So I thought this was a really cute book. It's got all the cute little fuzzy pets in it. I thought they would really enjoy that. So then I picked this one up. It's Jim Henson's Pajama... Pajanimals? Apollo Has a Bad Day. And it again is just a regular book. As seen on Sprout, Jim Henson and Company. Take an adventure to the night sky with Pajanimal. And it has a $4.95 price tag. So, it looked like a really cute book. Then I found this one. It says, Be What You Want to Be, Small Potatoes. Sing Along Storybook by Josh Sealing and... Michael John Lachusia, illustrated by Cassandra Gibbons. And it comes with a CD because it's a sing along storybook. There you go. And this is by Penguin Press. And it does have a value of $6.99. Because it's printed there on the back. So I thought that was a really cute little book. And it, the CD is like encased so that it wouldn't get damaged. Right there on the back in a little folder. So. Then I found this new Color Alive Bring Your Coloring to Life by Criola Enchanted Forest 4D Experience. And it has. Um, Seven crayons, one being a pixie dust, unlocks virtual, unlocks virtual effects, is what the pixie dust twin does. And it's fairies. It had the prettiest fairy pictures in it. And unicorns. Some beautiful pictures. So, went ahead and picked this one up. It, um, is by Crayola. It did not have a price on it. But I do know that I have seen these at Walmart and places like that. And they usually sell for like $5.99, $6.99 a piece. So they're usually pretty expensive. I just thought that one was really cute. So then, 
I picked this one up. It's called The Box Trolls Make Your Own Box Troll Punch Out Activity Book. And this one is MSRP Markdown. It looks like it came from like a half price books or something. Um, $6.79. And it's literally like paper dolls. You just punch them out and put them together. They're all the little box trolls. It says, this activity book has everything you need to make your own box trolls. Just pop out the pieces, fold at the lines, and lock in the tabs. In no time, you'll have your own eggs, fish, oil can, and other curious critters. So, and this one has an original price of $7.99. I bought that one for my oldest son. He likes the box trolls, so I thought he might enjoy that. And then he loves Skylanders. And this one is Skylanders U-verse Ultimate Seek and Find. So it's kind of like a Where's Waldo book. It says something terrible has happened. The evil chaos has cursed the portals of power and used them to scatter Master Eon's most vital magical instruments all over Skylands. Don't let chaos's armies of trolls, chumpies, and pirates retrieve them before you do. <laughs> I'm sure he'll love it. He's seen it and he can't wait to get his hands on it. So this actually retails for $6.99 and it's the Activision game series. So, and he loves the games. So I thought he'd enjoy the book. So then I found in this one, it's Moshi. I don't know if, I never came up with Moshi or Mushi monsters. And it's clone, Criminal League of Naughty Critters, exclusive virtual gift sticker activity book. Over 80 stickers. So, it's got all kinds of different activities like word searches, uh, seek and finds. It's got a ton of different like stickers inside of it. And it's all on like that glossy paper, the different activities. Look those little cute critters. So, there's the book. It's regularly priced for six dollars and ninety nine cents. So I went ahead and picked that one up, and then I got this one. It's actually a book book that you would read, and it is Skylanders U verse Book of Elements, Life and Undead. So I figured he might like that, like I said, because he loves Skylanders. And this one was also regularly priced at $6.99. So as far as books go, we made we made off really well because that's quite an expensive haul of books. And then I found a book for me. This one's called Whoopie Pies, Dozens of Mix-Em, Match-Em, Eat-Em Up Recipes. I love to bake. By Sarah Billingsley and Amy Treadwell. And I think I've actually seen somebody haul this before but I had personally never seen it at my Dollar Tree. And so when I did see it, I went ahead and picked it up. Let's see, peel the sticker off here. So um, it's got beautiful illustrations in it and tons and tons of, it's interestingly illustrated, should I say. Um, but it's got lots of great, great pictures of the different whoopie pies and stuff in it. Got like step by step instructions. It's so cute. But then back here it's got this one's a s'more cookie will be. So it's got lots of different recipes in it. And it's a nice padded, like the cookbook kind of padded. It feels like it's got padding in it. But it has a US value of $16.99 if you guys can see that. But it's a little pink. So, pick that up. <clears throat> and then, I sort of took a little tumble down the stairs. <laughs> so, my hip and my back were really bothering me. So, I picked up a couple of these pain patches that Miss Christie's always raving about. The only two that I saw. 
So I picked up the Assured Extra Strength Cold and Hot Pain Medicated Patch Relief. It says pain relieving menthol gel on a breathable adhesive patch. Menthol hot therapy for pain, cold and hot pain relief contains vitamin E and aloe. And there are two patches in here that measure three and one eighth inch by four and five eighths inch. There's what those look like. And then I got the Coralite, which measure 4.88 inches by 3.31 inches. And there are two patches in these. And this says this one's comparable to Salon Pos. It says it is ideal for shoulder and knee pain, soothes and relieves pain associated with minor aches and pains. So, but I put this on my hip and it worked really well <clears throat> last night because I bought two packages of these and I already opened one and I put it on my hip, kind of my hip and back area last night. They're a little small, but it worked really well. So, I love to make traveler's notebooks and I like the small notebooks that the Dollar Tree has to use as inserts. And so I found the little three packs of the 40 lined notebooks that are four inches by six inches again. And they had some new designs. And I bought two packs of each one of these. So I'm just going to show you one set of each one of them. So here's the first design. That's upside down. Here's the first design that was on the three pack. So I'm going to go ahead and open them up and show them to you. And each one of these measures four by six and has 40 line sheets in each notebook. So this is the first one and it's got Vegas and Mount Rushmore, Diamond Head, Hawaii, Yellowstone, Wyoming, picture of the Statue of Liberty. On the back, it's got New Orleans, St. Louis, Missouri, Los Angeles, California. It's got Washington and then San Francisco. It's got the Golden Gate Bridge on it. So it's all themed around travel <clears throat> and then it's got like this little this little one here that kind of resembles a suitcase and then it's got this one here that kind of resembles like a little suitcase that's different colored leather so I picked up two of those two sets of those and then as many of you know I'm a huge dog lover and they had one that had little puppy dog paws on it And so there's this one that just has the little puppy dog paws. And again, it has 40 sheets and these are by Jot. And each one of these little ones measures four by six and it's 40 sheets of paper. This one is just kind of a teal and blue and white and orange stripe. And then this one just has dogs and says dog and wolf. It's all the words scrambled up with lots of little pictures of doggies on it. I thought that one was really cute. I think I may be holding it upside down. There you go. Yep. Sorry about that. Little wiener dogs and looks like terriers. I thought that was really cute. And like I said, I picked up two sets of each one of those. I hadn't seen those designs before, so I thought they were really cute. And I did finally find some new washi tape and I didn't get all the new designs I just got the ones I particularly liked this one kind of reminded me of spring it's got like the it's got like a little squirrel and a pear and a mushroom and some flowers with a heart hope you guys are seeing that okay without that glare there's a better view of the actual tape And then I found this one, and this one is Music Notes, and these are just by the Greenbrier brand, and they are 15 millimeters by 10 meters. So, and this one is just Music Notes, but I thought it was so pretty. It looks like an antique kind of paper, and then it's got the black Music Notes. There you go. 
So again, that's what it looks like. And then I found this one. This one is, again, it's a 15 millimeter by 10 meters, and it's just a pale blue with red, or kind of a, I don't know, it's a hot pink or a red, and white flowers. This is really pretty for spring and summer. It would look really nice for Easter. Yep. Okay. So then I found the owl soaps that everybody's been finding. And this is the little purple owl. And he has got sweet cherry scented hand soap in him. He's so cute. <laughs> And then I found the little pink owl, and the little pink owl has strawberry scented soap in him. They're so adorable. I have the lotions and the lip gloss, so I just wanted to get a couple of the matching owls for the hand soap. Be careful if you do find these, though. It took me a while to find two of them that didn't have a lot of the paint rubbed off of them down here. A lot of them had a lot of the paint that was missing around the eyes and around the belly of the owl. So it was all rubbed off. Then I found two items that I hadn't seen anybody haul at all and I thought were so adorable. Look at that unicorn. Is that not the most adorable little thing you've ever seen? And then there is its little matching partner in pink. And these are lip gloss guys. Is that not so cute? These lip glosses are 0.05 ounces, and this one is a sweet cherry scent. I believe they also had an apple, but this is the sweet cherry, and the apple was also the, um, the pink unicorn. And then this one is a grape scent with the purple unicorn. Is that not so cute? And it's got the little gold horn. I thought those are so adorable. So I did not open one of them, see here yesterday when I went um, I was so busy yesterday and um, we were having some work into our house and so I wasn't home all day I was at my mom's so I didn't open any of these I went shopping at her house she's got the best dollar tree by her house if I find something that's always at her house Oh, it has the nicest grape scent, and it's just a clear, like a white. So you're just going to have to kind of stick your finger down in there and get it up. So it just has a little container down inside of the little unicorn. So, so cute. All right. So, moving on. So that we're on here all day. I did run into Target because I had to pick up something from Target and I picked up some of these adorable little note cards and there is an eight count of these and I figured I could use these anytime besides just Valentine's Day because I thought they were so cute and there's just eight of those with the different colored hearts and the scalloped edges and they were just a dollar for eight note cards. And then they've got the little pink envelopes. And then I finally found, they're called just buckets. Yeah, laser cut pails in light pink. I picked up two of them. And I got these to go in my craft room to hold like pens and scissors and things when I'm just working on projects and stuff. I've got lots of little tools for my Cricut and um, just scissors and things like that. And so I got these to hold those on my craft desk. So I just thought those were really cute. And then I ran into Michael's. So I had to stop at PetSmart with my mom's and Michael's is right next door. And they had this in their clearance bin. And I just thought it was kind of cute. It was, I think it ran up at like $1.80. It says $2.39, but I think it ran up at $1.80. 
and they're just different like five by seven card stocks and this yellow one here says classy and caffeinated oops let me get the other one to turn here and this one says just own it Isn't that cute? The mint green. And this one says, Would you be in my girl gang? Huh, <laughs> isn't that adorable? And the next one says, Ooh, Boss Lady. Girl, you got this. And the next one is your every nice word I can think of. And some of these I thought a five by seven you could buy a really nice little five by seven frame. And some of these would be really cute to gift someone inside a nice five by seven frame, or even to put on your desk or something. So I picked those up. And then I picked up some really cheap little ribbon that was on clearance. It was marked 49 cents, but it came up cheaper than that. So I picked up, these are 5 8 inch by 5 feet. And I picked up two of these. It doesn't say. They kind of look like a burlap ribbon to me, and they've got like little gold flecks in them. Not sure the gold's picking up on camera. This is so pretty. Then I found some cute Easter ribbon. And this is also, this is 5 8 inch by 4 feet. And this one just says Happy Easter with a little bunny rabbit. And this one is also 5 8 inch, and if I had to guess, I'd say 4 feet. And it's got little Easter eggs. I just thought it was really cute with the white background and it, all sorts of different colors, little Easter eggs. Then and some Halloween, all sorts of different holidays. This is 5 8 inch by 4 feet, and it's black with the candy corns. And then this one is 5 8 inch by 4 feet, and it's orange with white spider webs and little black spiders. Then, anybody who knows me, we love rubber duckies at my house. So I found this one, it's 5 8 inch by, I'm going to go on a limb and say 4 feet, because I can't see it, the price sticker's covering it up. It's white with little rubber duckies. I thought that was adorable. I found this one. It is five or seven eighths inch, I think. Or is that one eighth inch? Three eighths inch. <clears throat> Three eighths inch by five feet, and it just says baby in pastel colors.
And this one's just a kind of a hot pink and white polka dot. And this is 3 eighths inch by 5 feet. And this one says Merry Christmas in different colors. I think it's just red and green and Merry Christmas in cursive. And this is 3 eighths inch by 4 feet. And it's the ribbed ribbon. And then I found this one. This one is 5 8 inch by 5 feet. And it's kind of a tan ribbon. It's more of a rough cloth kind of ribbon. And it's got little black doggy paws on it. So I thought that was cute. And these are all recollection brand ribbons. And then this one says Happy St. Patrick's Day, and this is 5 eighths inch by 5 feet. So I thought that was really cute. So that was all I picked up at Michael's. I just got lucky with some ribbon at the dollar bin there. So, I will show you my big purchase from Tuesday morning. As you all know, uh, when I started crafting, a friend of mine was really nice and loaned me some things to use because I didn't have hardly anything. So, one of the things she loaned me was her old cuddle bug because she had several die cutting machines. So, I saw one of my fellow YouTubers haul a beautiful Sussex Big Shot from Tuesday morning. And I was ever so lucky as to find one myself. So I did go pick up a Sussex Big Shot. And yes, they were $49.99. So. It is an it says emboss elegantly in an instant. Cut many exciting shapes perfectly every time. Um, on the front, it just says design your own cards and invitations, home decor, fashion, quilts, altered art, and scrapbook and pages. The original shape cutting and embossing system. A standard cutting pads, one standard platform, and one thin die adapter. So. I think that's a really good deal for $49.99. I still need to get um, a few other. I want to get a magnetic sheet that goes with it to do. Just keep my dies from moving around. But all in good time. I did find some more ink when I was at Tuesday morning. Let's see if it's, there should be another one floating around in here. There it is. I found some more of the, uh, the I think it's called Paperworks ink. It's pigmented ink. And I found a brown, I do love this ink. And it was $1.99. It's made by Hampton Art. And this is the brown. Every ink I've used from them is just amazingly pigmented. There you go. And the, uh, the number on that is 187-2815, just in case you're looking for some of those inks. And then I did find a Bow Bunny. It's called Blueberry. For $1.99. And the number on that, because I'm sure you can't read it because of that glare, is 1914661. 
There you go. And then I did pick up a, another embossing folder, and this one was by Dars, and it's called Nautical Theme. We got the ship's wheels and the anchors. I thought that was really pretty. So then I found a Sussex tie and this one's by Jelly Bean, I think. Jelly Bean Soup is what it is. It's five stamps and four dies. And it was $6.99. And it's called Noted. Let me get that a little closer so you can see the stamps. And then there are the dies. So there we go. And then I found these. I'm not sure what I'm going to use them for yet. <laughs> They're called Mosaic. Crystal stickers. And they came in three different sizes. But aren't they pretty? Those were the those were the crystal colored ones or the like clear ones. So they came in that size. And then that size. And then the bigger size. And you got all three of those for $1.99. And then I also got the red ones, the garnet colored ones. I think that last one really gives you a good color, a good indication of the color on screen. So, I also picked up this gorgeous paper pad, which I used a piece of paper out of already. Um, it's by DCVW, or DCWB. It's called Scripts and Music Notes. It's got six sheets with foil on vellum. It is the prettiest paper. And I used a piece of paper out of it. Take that out. And it has got, it's a 12 by 12 pad. And it's got, tell me how many, 36 sheets. So, there's one of the sheets right there. It's got two of each sheet. Is that not beautiful? And this is the one that I use some of. It's just got the prettiest script. And then this one's got some cut up parts that have different pages in the pad in it. Here's another one with writing on it. And this one's kind of toned. It's like a different tones in it, and it's got the little beehive over here in the corner.
This one just has crowns on it, different shades and textures, different shades of crowns. mixed in with the text. And this one's a really pretty peach color. If you can see it's got like some white flowers over here in the corner. And down here there are actually strawberries. This one's just some lime parts left. The lines are kind of a peachy color, kind of like that strawberry paper that we just saw. And then you get into the almost. There's this really pretty flower. I love this floral. I think that floral is so pretty. Then you get into the vellum. And this is some script vellum. Pretty floral. sheets of vellum but I thought six sheets of vellum was a pretty good deal the paper pad was four dollars and 99 cents so I thought for six sheets of vellum that was a pretty good deal and then I've been on the hunt for some Easter paper and I found this Easter by Alicia Whit Whitcomb it's an Echo Park pad and it's a 12 by 12 double-sided papers and it comes with a one element sheet and there's what the papers look like up there at the top. These are so cute. Look at that. There's all those carrots. And that and then the little chickies. And the ones with all the different little colored bunnies. I like that one too, the pink one with the bunnies. And then it's got this wonderful sticker sheet here on the back with all the different little elements and stuff on it. So. Let me put it closer so y'all can see what all this is and what it feels, the little elements that are in the package. And then again, there's the papers that come in the pen. So, that's everything I picked up every place I went shopping at. That's over the past few days, by the way, not just yesterday. So, I just haven't had a chance to film. So, thank you guys for sitting and staying with me so long. I do have some pictures from the Dollar Tree that I'll insert at the end of the video. Things I did not pick up. So if you stayed all the way till the end, you'll have some pictures to look through. Thank you for your continued support and thank you for stopping by and taking some time to chat with me and spend part of your Friday with me. Thank you and I will see you next time. I hope everybody has a wonderful Friday and a blessed weekend and I'll see you guys later. Thanks again. Bye.